The city of Johannesburg will be hosting the second Ecomobility Festival in October uh, 2015. We selected October because in South Africa it's Transport Month. Uh, it's a month in which we focus our efforts as a, as a country into finding transport solutions. So we thought that hosting the Ecomobility Festival in October would dovetail with the country's uh, Transport Month initiatives. Um, of course, this being the second Ecomobility Festival gives us a platform, one, to learn from our predecessor, Suwon uh, Korea, uh, who hosted the first festival, and I've had the opportunity and privilege to interact with the mayor and talk about the successes, the challenges, and the difficulty. Uh, but also, I think, uh, the ability to mobilize the broader section of society to participate. We specifically selected to host the Ecomobility Festival in Sentin, Sentin, which is the commercial epicenter of Johannesburg in South Africa, because it is, it is beginning to confront significant challenges of uh, congestion, uh, uh, and a number of people are beginning to feel the frustration of congestion. So whilst the city is currently uh, building infrastructure to support a bus rapid transit system in Sentin, we think that the Ecomobility Festival would enable us to almost introduce and kickstart the process of mobilizing people to get out of private cars into public transport, but also to, to look at alternative transport solutions, including Ecomobile solutions. Well, I think uh, there's a degree of anxiety, but also excitement. We've engaged with a number of stakeholders. Uh, some are saying, how is this going to happen? Sentin is a very busy area. How are you going to ensure that uh, it doesn't affect business, but on the other hand, there's an appreciation of the fact that uh, the area itself is, is facing significant challenges that need resolution and that we can't build ourselves out of the solution. We're going to have to find uh, uh, different solutions to congestion, but also to issues of uh, climate change, uh, uh, impact as a result of uh, private car utilization uh, and inadequate use of, of uh, public transport systems. But there's also been a keen interest uh, from business, uh, business stakeholders who have come to the party. Some of them would be hosting specific events uh, in partnership with the city and ICLE to ensure that uh, the Ecomobility Festival doesn't become only a city event, it becomes an event where you have all stakeholders participating. We've also engaged with the Johannesburg Urban Cycling Association that is quite keen and has been uh, roped in as a partner uh, in implementing the Ecomobility Festival, and we've seen great interest from other role players who want to contribute. The city is working on a number of sustainable projects. Uh, amongst those would be alternative energy solutions. We have just had our um, uh, uh, sewer treatment plants installed energy solutions. Uh, uh, so we think that that is a successful project where the sewer treatment plant is beginning to generate its own energy and thus reduce demand uh, from the grid. We are also uh, doing a project with regards to waste to energy or landfill gas to energy rather, where uh, we've now been given a license for an independent power producer license uh, and the plant should be up and running next year we would be able to generate energy. But we're also involved in projects on the transport side, retrofitting our current metro bus fleet into uh, dual fuel systems, both biogas and diesel, but also mobilizing the private sector to, mobi to particularly private taxi providers to uh, install dual fuel systems. So there are a whole range of projects that we're implementing and are quite excited about them, Johannesburg.